Hi there, my name is Rick Hines. I'm the product development manager for Bass Amplifiers. And I'm here with Brandon Schmidt, who's also a product development manager at Fender, to talk about bass amps, more specifically the new Rumble LT25. Now the LT25 takes its cues from the Rumble stage and studio in that it has tons of great amplifier models, presets, effects, it's fun, it's flexible, it's super small, it's very light, and just a great grab-and-go amp to, to jam with uh, your favorite tracks or play with friends at home. So the Rumble LT25 has a standard EQ just like any other bass amp. But the nice thing is that you have 50 presets, uh, 30 that are built in and 20 that are in Easter egg that I'll show you about. It's extremely flexible depending on whatever style of music you're playing. So Brandon, when you're jamming at home or just doing some sort of small gig, like what, what do you tend to gravitate towards as far as sounds? Well, in a lot of cases, I'm looking for inspiration. And that's my favorite part about this amp is there are so many sounds and different characters that you can find in this amp that it'll bring things out of your playing that never occurred to you before. And that's what I like best. Generally, bass players are used to kind of having a tone, jamming, and that's kind of it. And the guitar players get to have all the fun. But the thing about this is, I think this brings out a creative side in bass players that maybe they haven't thought about before. Above and beyond the normal flat setting that I might use just to work on technique or play scales or, or practice at home, this is bringing a whole nother level of things that I might actually base a production or a song out of rather than just practicing a bass line. Without further ado, I think we should get into it and show the flexibility that it has. I thought I'd dial up a sound, uh, something a little dirty or something that kind of um, echoes more kind of aggressive music of the 70s. It's got kind of a classic tone stack. And uh, let's see how that sounds. I'm gonna throw a curveball your way. There's a really cool preset on here that has almost like an organ sound to it, a Leslie speaker, uh, something you might not think about traditionally as a bass player, but it's got a really cool feel to it. So why don't I go to that preset and let's check it out. One of the other great things about the Rumble LT25s are all the different effects that you can use. Delays, reverbs, tremolo, some really fun stuff. So I thought maybe I would dial up a tone where it's kind of 70s reminiscent, put some auto on it, maybe a little bit of echo, get that sort of 70s funky feel. So let's see how it sounds. Another cool effect that's synonymous with Fender guitar amps is tremolo, but it sounds great on bass as well. So I'm gonna dial up a sound that's got some of that classic Fender tremolo and have Brandon play it, and let's see how that sounds. Right, now for something completely different, I'm gonna go to a preset called MonsterBot. This is that area where it's like you're going out of the realm of what a, a typical bass player would play into something that's almost synth-like. For me, what's really cool about it is it kind of breaks barriers, does something that maybe you wouldn't think about and takes you to places that you wouldn't normally go to. So let's check out that preset. So I know I mentioned those additional presets as an Easter egg. Let me show you how you can access them through the menu. You go to the Save button. If you scroll to the bottom, it says Replace. Now when I press that, now it says 1 through 50. So the additional 31 through 50 are going to be other presets that we've included in here. So you can demo those, and if you find one that you like, Replace, and it's done. And if you want to modify any of these presets, it's super simple to do. I'm going to go into the Rumble preset. When I hit the encoder, 
I go into the preset, it shows the amplifier, stomp, mod, EQ, and delay. When I click on the amplifier, now I have the choice of picking the amplifier that I want, press the encoder again, and now I have the ability to choose any of those. Back out. Now if I wanna add a stomp effect, I go down, press that again. You'll notice it says none. I'm going to add overdrive and back out. Now it's in the effect. Once I go to modulation, I can do the same thing. Let's pick chorus, back out. When I'm totally done with the preset the way I like it, all I need to do is hit the save button once. It'll ask if you wanna save it in that position or save it to another position in the rumble. So I'm gonna do that, save it in the position three. Preset is saved. The other great features about the Rumble LT25 is that it has an auxiliary in, so you can play along with your favorite tracks. It's got a headphone, so you can do silent practice and not upset the neighbors and friends. It has a USB, so any sort of software updates, you can do that way, or you can record directly into your computer. It's also a solid wood cabinet, so it's got nice low end, and it has an eight inch speaker with a port, so you get this nice full low end, even in a small size. So there you have it, the Rumble LT25, 25 watts of pure bass fun. Sounds great playing at home or playing with your friends. For more information, go to Fender.com and stay tuned for more videos.